This film is intended for eye surgeons for training and education purposes. Viewer discretion is strongly recommended. Hi, hydro implantation of lenses is a neat and effective technique for implanting a single piece intraocular lens. And most of us have been using this technique for many years now. The main advantage being the lens implantation process is quick since OVD removal step is not there. The principle is that we are using the inflowing BSS through the irrigating cannula instead of the OVD to deepen the chamber and maintain the capsular bag. The key here is to have a deep chamber and a formed capsular bag during IOL implantation. Any distortion of the wound or large leak can compromise the antechamber depth and the bag might collapse, risking complications like post-capsular break. A too tight wound which gets distorted during forceful entry of the cartridge and an excessive large leaky incisions have to be avoided when using hydro implantation technique. An incision which allows smooth entry of the cartridge without getting distorted is ideal. The irrigation cannula can be held oblique to minimize any leak from the port. This is a case where an hydrophilic intraocular lens is being implanted into the capsular bag. These lenses open up very gently and beautifully. If at all dialing of the lens is required, it is to be done through the opposite side port and care needs to be taken that the chamber is always kept formed. One advantage of these hydrophilic lenses is that they come with a disposable injector system which are all direct push systems. The next few cases are of hydrophobic lenses, wherein the principle and techniques uh, remain the same. I prefer to use a hydro implantation technique with the push type of injectors. The irrigation cannula is held obliquely above the lens as it is being implanted into the bag. The cannula itself is used to nudge the optic and the haptics into the bag as the lens is being implanted and it gently unfolds. A few more cases. The secret we need to remember is that the chamber and the capsular bag have to be well formed all the time. So while implanting the lens, distortion of the wound should be avoided which would compromise with the depth and stability of the antechamber and the capsule bag. Hydro implantation technique, I find it very useful, uh, especially for the historic lenses, which are mostly, you know, single piece hydrophobic lenses. And uh, the idea is, apart from not requiring uh, for an extensive removal of OVD, uh, the chances of the lens sticking onto the posterior capsule are relatively higher because there is a minimal chance of the OVD and because the lens sticks onto the posterior capsule, the chances of uh, rotation of the lens in the early post-op period is significantly decreased and as we all know, the rotation of the toric lens in the early post-op period is a significant concern for us uh, to achieve the best possible alignment. So I think, you know, it has, the hydro implantation does have a major role to play in cases with uh, toric IOLs. Of course, there could be some surprises as in this case. As I'm trying to implant, the lens does not open up and the folded mass misbehaves like a bullet which will be jutting around along with the current flow of the BSS. There is a chance of the lens hitting the endothelium and also flipping over. In this case, I could control it using uh, the lens dialer and then slowly maneuver it into the bag. In such a situation, one thing to remember is to not to remove the irrigation handpiece suddenly, even if you'd want to replace with OVD. One should start injecting OVD through the other side port and then remove the irrigation gradually. Uh, let us try to understand why this lens behaved differently compared to the previous ones in spite of using similar technique. My hypothesis is that uh, this lens was quite cold or rather not warm enough. Hence, this stiff lens does not open up and then it behaves like a single mass and the fluid current take it along with them. The cold stiff lens would not move around when injected under OVD because of the viscous jelly-like nature of the OVD, the lens stay put there. So the take home message is in single piece hydrophobic lens, they can be hydro implanted 
but I would recommend one important precaution to be taken. Ensure that the lens is not cold and stiff. It has to be at room temperature. So I would recommend switching off the AC during the loading and implantation of the lenses or pre-warm the lens just for a very short duration of time which will prevent them from getting cold and stiff. That's it. Thank you for watching and hope this helps.